The prolific designer Dieter Rams has declared, good design makes a product understandable. Good design is aesthetic and consistent in every detail. In our age of increasing visual saturation and complex technology, what role can good design play? How do designers at the top of their game achieve the perfect balance between aesthetics and user-friendliness? And in what ways can technology enable this? These are some of the questions that I'm going to be discussing with Oliver Graves, Design Director at Braun. My name is Oliver Grabes. I'm the design director for Braun. Pretty much everything we see is designed. We as designers are the people that can help to amplify great ideas best. We have that ability to bring things alive. Technology was really difficult to use, and design changed that. At home, we had many, many brown products, and I just realized later on that it was special. There is so much in that heritage that we continue to use. What keeps us doing it the way we do it today is really because we believe in, these, uh, in this mindset. I think that Braun is really a company that has championed internally the idea that um, total design and total design experiences were something that was valuable. And they brought a whole different world to everyday life and everyday technologies. I think it's impossible to work with technologists without having heard of Braun, weirdly. Not designers, but technologists. Technologists love Dieter Rams's work. I admire Dieter Rams. I, he's, a, he's a fantastic person. He was starting as an architect here at Braun. As people figured out, oh, he's good at, you know, looking at things um, as systems. He started to get into design as well. Anytime you are in the room with him, things change. He puts you onto like, okay, what are the fundamental important things? Making things not more complicated than needed. He was looking forward. We looked back at the time now, because it was so special, uh, what we need to do as well is similarly look forward. How do we design things that are worth carrying the Braun name? And then, of course, also looking how we can bring that forward. We didn't want to be a retro kind of uh, design team. We created a design language that is based on Braun's design language of the past, maybe selected a little bit. So they stay Braun, but they also create freedom for designers to create the most relevant, newest product today. We start with the user. What is it that is better with this new idea, with the new product? You know, why do we need this? Why do you have this? We can say, well, because it's better for you. Gestaltung, industrial design, product design were really the words that were important for me because it isn't art. It isn't also just making things. It is the exact process in between. Design is a lot about creating, exploring and doing things, but then also talking and discussing about those kind of things together. 
and then you know helping to make that the best design we can do. Sustainability is a, is a core element for us to um, consider in the design process. Lifetime of the product, how can we make it long-lasting? Timelessness isn't really what we're after, but I think a long-lasting design that keeps you happy to have it around for, for many years. Braun Price was initiated 50 years ago, a long time ago, by Fritz Eichler and Dieter Rams. They said like, well, our design principles that we believe in, um, we think could be applied basically to any kind of category, product type, um, challenge. Applying good design principles, what we call today design thinking, and apply them across the world. Technology drives an initial spark. Oh, we can now do something different. And then finding out how people can utilize that is really the job of companies like Braun. A lot of the conversations that we have around this prize are around the impact of design everywhere. I think the responses that we've had from designers and young talent really show a world that they live in that they are really responding to, whether that's through conflict, that's through environmental issues, gender equality. Their world is much more complicated, and I think that they are taking on a lot more than people used to in the design sectors. Industrial design, product design, um, I think it is for me personally, a challenge of, of making things better, trying to understand what is worth to bring out there. Technology is crucial for bringing us forward. We have to uh, act. We can help to guide the future as we hopefully amplify the right things. <laughs>